<clears throat> today this is uh jason from joker Man electronics today we're going to show you some um a 959 as you can see we're upgrading the 959 uh, basically uh we're going to be adding uh <clears throat> we're going to be adding the final upgrade uh we're going to add this final in place of it okay all right so it's a lot of work to do as you can see all the resistors right here now i get high grade stuff you know all the parts that need to go inside there this is not just any uh, capacitors i use really expensive capacitors not like most people use that black crap um so uh, i already put one here and i and i went over here already they're buffer uh filter cap uh, capacitors all right let's talk about something okay a lot of times these got uh, these technicians go out there and um, they upgrade these capacitors in the back right over here all right one thing is good uh to upgrade it okay but there is a one a 1000 u ferret okay on the bottom now in between there when they when you lay out a schematic on the see you lay out a schematic you got to know what is what, what can what range you can put that in you got to be very be very very careful because of the fact it, it it's ripples okay there's a lot of ripples in between here and there and there's a reason why they use a u ferret okay you can go up like a 50 volts but you can't go up like 400 4000 whatever these guys are doing that out there because of the fact is you see these components in right over here let me show you these components all right you go if you go up high what happens is these things get extremely hot and this is a transmit and receive your audio chip okay then before it used to be long ways as you can see a long way right here now that puts a lot of strain on this components it's great to have it high but just remember if you're going to do that all right a lot of these technicians don't know you need to co um, complete the um process of building up the power supply all right once you build your power supply yeah granted you could do all that as you can see right over here this this little, little unit um um you have to upgrade this to get what you want. I mean, really, you're kind of beating the purpose. You're not doing anything. Now, back in the day, long time ago, okay, um, <clears throat> I used to do this a long time, okay? So that's why I know I upgraded um, the whole circuitry. It means take every little tiny resistor out of here, every component, every capacitor, everything, rip it out, okay? All right. Now upgrading the voltage is good, okay, on, on this part, like uh at fifty volts or something like that. that helps the radio. But when you start putting the U Ferret one thousand in there, then you start getting uh like you change it out to twenty two hundred and all that stuff. All right, what it does is it affects affects the receive on it, okay? And a lot of these guys technicians they call themselves technicians, but they really don't know what it does okay um i used to do this a long time ago so i used to do this uh this kind of stuff like what they were doing before come from fact and i did a lot of trial and error and come the fact is you know what you're doing is when you do this right here um you actually hurt the radio uh basically uh, if you have an emperor uh 5010 and emperor 5010 you guys probably know what that radio was now, I did one of those radios before back in the day, you know, and I did the same thing right here, and I ended up making the radio um, not receive good no more because, and I fixed the problem afterwards, but I uh, I figured out, okay, you can't go too ex big on capacitors. You got to be extremely careful with what you can do. Now, if you go on YouTube and all that kind of things, They'll explain to you when you in there, it, you're only allowed to go so high on on uh, the U-Ferret. If it says U-Ferret, you don't want to change the U-Ferret to any higher than that. 
because what you do is is um, you affect a lot of a lot of stuff in, and like I said you get ripples and that's why they put capacitors on this side and that side and it kind of helps you uh, and the truck makes that noise cuts the noise down a lot of these technicians that do that you know they find mods and everything like that um, I'm very good at what I do okay um, I've been doing this for a lot of the years and I like I told you I built this whole capacity this whole section right here my radio was so loud nobody could touch it okay I mean if I key down nobody could touch it because I built this up I built this up I tore this whole radio apart basically I got it apart all right now um, so you got to be extremely hell um, extremely careful when you upgrading capacitors and stuff like that you got to sit down and look at a schematic and see what can it handle I mean a lot of these guys is just like coming out and put these gigantic capacitors in here <laughs> look it, it helps the filtering okay granted it does but it <laughs> It really, it really it distorts out the, um, if you put this in there, it distorts the receive, okay? Because it's too, too much on these little, little tiny components in here, all right? They only can handle so much to in there, and I'm being truthful in there. So, I had to mention that because I see a lot of YouTube videos out there, um, and then people ask it and change capacitor. Yeah, change out the capacitor, but it went range. You got to have a range. So, all right, if I went over here and I changed this capacitor right here, all right, if any did, anybody did, you put it in a different one, it's going to blow up. And once it blows up, you're going to know. If it sounds like a firecracker, all right? So they have a reason why, and they made it in the schematic, what what range it is and how much ripples it has in there so when they upgraded something they put it in that range so what happens is these fine like I said these finals right here stays cool okay and we have it in the wrong range it you kind of lose power all right you lose a lot of power in this so um, keep in mind when you do a uh, uh, a if when you do this kind of stuff and do work like this, you have to understand the basic and the knowledge about what you're doing. All right. Um, but today, I just want to go into detail about that. All right. Because I see a lot of CB shops, they call CB shops out there, and they're not CB shops. What they're doing is ripping you off and putting these big, gigantic capacitors inside there. And your in-up radio is not going to last. And you're not getting the full power. Because what all it's doing is killing your radio and your receive. Okay? And that I had to bring that up because I sit back and I laugh. Because I've been doing this so long. Over 20 years. I've been doing this so long. And I maybe I get on there and have uh, my, some people do some of my work for me sometimes. Because look at the work. Look at that guy to do. I build radios, okay? I fix radios, okay? All right? All right? I said, uh, when I get real busy, I got work, man. I mean, look at this. All right? Take a look. I got a non, non, another 959, all right? Okay? I got another amplifier that I do, okay? So, I do a lot of work. I mean... Uh, I mean, I know what I'm doing. I've been doing it. I don't do st sit around and stuff. I, w I won't do. I just don't want to take repairs. I mean, I don't want to get in the repair business. I want to be able to get in the radio upgrading stuff. And um, I could do repairs, but I just don't want to get into it. I want to be able to turn on radio quick and get them out. Uh, like, for instance, a customer wants to uh, upgrade their, on the radio. I'll do that for them. Customer wants to upgrade their wiring and add the Shiba's in it. I'll do that for them. You know what I mean? So, and there's a lot of things on that. When you give me a call, we'll talk about it. 
uh, basically. But I do a wonderful job. There's a reason why I have uh, um, five stars on my website. Okay? There's nobody can top that out there. You know, I'm not out there to uh, take take your money and run. I give you honest, um, honest work and honest money. Okay. I mean, I just don't repair uh, any kind of radio. I mean, you uh, Cobras, I really don't want to get into Cobras. I can do a Cobra a very, very good. It's a three hour process to do a Cobra. I mean, that's not 15 minutes where you just turn this pot and stuff. You literally have to tear the whole guts out of that radio just to get it work. Here, as a um, 959 or a 10 meter radio, um, basically, you just uh, you have a, a radio that people want and you want to get it done. And you just add things, components to it, improvement. I mean, did they tell you, uh, did they tell you, did they ask you, did they adjust these pots in there and stuff like that? Do they know how to adjust these pots in there? Do they have a test equipment like I have right over here? Okay. You have to put it on a tone generator. You have to put it on a receiver right here. I mean, I mean, there's a lot of things I know what I'm doing. I mean, I'm out there to prove to you guys tonight that I really care. I take my time and I do a good job. So if you want good quality work, you come to Joker Man Electronics. You buy a radio from me. Go on the website, buy your radio, add the cart, and if you want extra stuff, like, uh, you know, like a wire upgrade or something like that, or, um, you know, uh, an amp inside your radio, we'll do that for you, okay? I don't mind doing stuff like that for you, putting in a little, uh, little uh, box. For an example, uh, I just did a radio, like, uh, for instance, uh, this radio right here. This has the uh, uh, a AD203 inside of it, okay? It gives you 100 watts. Now, if you guys want that, we could do that for you. You know, my business is about the heart. I'm not out there to rob anybody. I'm not out there to steal nobody. And I, I want to let you guys know, watch for a lot of technicians out there because all they want to do is milk you for money. And what we what you get you you don't get a loud radio, but when you see the reviews on my website, you're gonna read it and you're gonna go, wow, that's amazing. So, anyways, not bragging about stuff like that, but my my company's out there for you guys, and when we need you. So, uh, thank you for watching the videos. This is gonna be um, for my friend. He already had bought a General Lee for me and. He sent it off to another technician, and it didn't get um, it didn't get right. And he's gonna comment on there too. It didn't get right, but he liked it. Okay, so he brought this nine five nine to me. He said, "Hey, Jace, can you go do this for me? I have a, a general uh, lead that it's amazing. Does seventy watts, and this nine five nine doesn't even do the wattage. It doesn't even do anything. So you know, you know, that tells you that I do my job." Okay, but uh, and uh, um, like I said, uh, you can't just put any uh, capacitor in, in its place, it does not work. Um, if you put a capacitor, especially uh, like I told you earlier, a capacitor, a bigger one in here, um, it's gonna you're gonna see the watts fall and it's gonna blow up. And once it blows up, this stuff blows up right here, you'll see fire out of the, this big old Q52. <laughs> So, you know, um, like I said, if you want to really know and become a good technician, all you got to do is try, you know, read the book, uh, get started. You know, there's a lot of young technicians out there learning the, the, these days. I'm proud about everybody that um, does good work out there and not take advantage of uh, the customers because I'm not into the business like that. Um, I'm... I'm a proud owner of Joker Man Electronics. I'm gonna be around um, till I till I die because I I'm gonna prove I'm gonna be the biggest guy out here in South Carolina, and you know I'm gonna have a good business, and I'm, I'm gonna have a respectable business where my name is gonna be there forever. Okay, so um, 
please write good reviews on my website please uh respond um give me a good click a thumbs up on my uh youtube subscribers and stuff and followers but uh, i had to make this video tonight because i just wanted to show you and i wanted to show a testimony about my business okay so this is joker man electronics you guys have a great night and uh Aloha from Hawaii, because that's where I'm uh, raised over there in Hawaii. So that's why I always have Hawaiian music on if you guys hear me. All right, have a nice day. Bye bye for now.